Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah and today we're doing something horrifying, absolutely horrifying. It's the worst video I've ever made in my entire life. I'm just kidding. So I'm actually filming this intro after I've already done this experiment. So today we are going to be talking about a week without any caffeine, specifically coffee for me because I am a coffee lover. I drink coffee every single day. I love the taste of coffee. I think that I like the way that coffee makes me feel. First things first, I'm not a professional at anything in this life. Second thing, I love coffee. I'm not making this video to talk shit on coffee or caffeine actually in general. I'm just doing this for myself because I felt like I was heavily addicted to drinking coffee, whether it was mental, physical, both. I consume a lot of coffee, like too much coffee. So I felt like I needed to kind of pull back and do something that I thought would be good for me, um, which is cutting it out for a little bit and seeing how my body feels, seeing if things change for better or for worse, I don't know. And that's why we did this little experiment. It's kind of like a crutch or like a treat that I give myself when something's going wrong or if I'm feeling tired, like if anything is abnormal in my life in any way in like my brain i'm like let's have coffee coffee will fix everything coffee is the answer to all of life's questions that's an exaggeration maybe no it's not it's not an exaggeration it, it is i don't i don't know there's a balance to be had with just about anything in your life i was not having a balance <laughs> with coffee i was drinking too much coffee and i just feel like it's probably not good for me if I'm being realistic. I tried to vlog every single day just to kind of give you guys a little update of like each day how I was feeling, what was going on. So we're gonna get to that now. This is where I was sleeping. This is what I woke up next to. You, you precious angel. Oh, hi. Hello, good morning. It is day one. And if I look weird, it's because I had my eyelash extensions taken off. As you all know, from the beginning of this video <laughs> I'm gonna try to go without caffeine. I woke up and immediately my brain was like, I need coffee. I'm not gonna have any coffee. I am going to make myself a tea, a non-caffeinated tea. I'll show you what it looks like actually. This one is by the brand Clarity. It was actually just local at our farmer's market, so I picked one up. This is called Golden Milk. It's an anti-inflammatory. It's good for arthritis, diabetes, aches, and pains. It's really just anti-inflammatory, so it's amazing, and I love it. And everybody needs that because we eat and consume too many things that make us inflamed. So try this. It's really tasty. It's kind of got a little spice to it because it is made with turmeric. But this one has turmeric... Uh, Ceylon cinnamon, which I'm not really sure what exactly that is. I know what cinnamon is, obviously, but some kind of special cinnamon. Uh, pure ginger and black pepper. I'm going to try to drink this instead of coffee for the next couple days because, you know, we're not doing coffee. This is Guillermo. If you guys didn't know, he's my baby. He's my baby. I love you. I love you. I'm just gonna do a little bit of work while I drink my gold milk latte drink thing and um, get the day started. Hi guys, it is still day one. I had a day. It is like 5 p.m. now about and I just did some work today and it was a good day, but I couldn't stop thinking about coffee. That was the only thing that happened. Genuinely, my energy level doesn't feel any different than normal. I don't feel like tired or lethargic or anything along those lines. But every hour I think about coffee at least like 10 different times. Like when I was driving around today, I couldn't stop thinking about how much I wanted coffee. So I think it's a lot of mental a lot of mental. My body doesn't feel weird. I feel fine. I've been drinking a lot of water. I did have two teas today because I needed that like oral fixation. So I guess we'll see what tomorrow holds and I'll update you guys if anything changes. Um, but uh, 
I feel pretty normal. I don't think that anything significant has happened yet today, so. Good morning! Hello! Today is day two. I'm not drinking coffee. And I feel great. I don't know what it is. I don't know if I like slept particularly well. I just woke up. I had a cup of golden milk as my coffee substitute, which I think I'm gonna do every day, honestly, because I just think it's really good for me. Again, no significant changes yet. I don't know if we're gonna see any crazy changes, but I figure I'll just update you guys every day. Um, but yeah, good morning, stay two, and we are not having any caffeine today. Hi guys, what's up? Today is day three of not consuming coffee or caffeine at all. But yeah, I'm not tired. I did just wake up maybe about an hour ago. I got up, did some cleaning, cleaned the kitchen as per usual, and of course made myself my little golden milk beverage. I'm using a Christmas mug today because I don't know. Christmas is over forever. Anyway, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about how I've been feeling. So yesterday was a pretty busy day. I was pretty much working all day. I completed a couple orders. I do woodworking, so that's kind of physically demanding. Um, I also, I, was, I worked out, I made a couple orders, and then I was doing deliveries in the evening and I was pretty much just working all day and I was completely fine. I didn't have a headache. I didn't have any like, I mean there were a couple times where I thought about coffee but like at no point was I like I need coffee like this is what I need now. It was more like a oh it'd be nice to have a coffee right now. Like but I did drink a lot of tea. I've been drinking a lot of tea. Only herbal tea, non-caffeinated tea. I have not been drinking any caffeine. And I've been feeling completely fine. It has only been two days, so who knows really what could happen. But I haven't been feeling any kind of withdrawals. And in fact, I almost feel like I feel better. I don't know if it's like a placebo thing or what, but I had so much energy yesterday, like way more energy than I usually have even when I'm drinking like a whole carafe of coffee. I'm the type of person that pretty much feels tired like all the time. Not all the time, but I get tired really easily. I feel like mostly when I'm feeling tired, it's like a mental exhaustion where I'm like, I just can't deal with it anymore, so I'm just gonna go to sleep and I can pretty much sleep at any point. Like I am so good at sleeping. Caffeine has never really affected my sleep. I could honestly probably drink a cup of coffee and go to sleep right away. Like, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I feel good this morning. I woke up and I was just like, okay, time to get up. And usually when I wake up, I am not a morning person at all. I would love to be a morning person, but I'm not. I'm just not. Usually whenever I wake up, I just like don't leave my bed for like at least 20 to 30 minutes because I just don't want to move. But today I woke up and I was like, all right, time to go, let's get up. And so like that felt good and I didn't even have coffee to be there for me. I do have some digestive problems and coffee is something that aids in digestion. It's um, a diuretic, so it really just gets you, your insides going whenever you drink it. So a lot of people drink coffee to like make themselves If you know what I mean. So typically whenever I drink coffee, it's like, oh my gosh, like it's intense. But drinking this golden milk is like the opposite. Like I feel like I'm not bloated. I don't have any stomach pains. Like it's actually amazing. Yeah, it's been going pretty good. So um, talk to you guys later. Hi guys. So this is my work shirt. Don't mind me. It is day four of having no coffee or caffeine, and I miss it. I miss it. I just love the taste of coffee, but um, I'm doing good. I have good energy. I don't have any headaches. I haven't had any issues, honestly. I haven't had any problems, so no withdrawal, I don't think which is crazy to me because I drink a lot of coffee. But yeah, so I'm doing good so far. I do feel a little bit sleepy today, more than normal, maybe. I'm pretty much always sleepy. So today I am 
working a bit and I'm just having some lunch right now. Yeah, so far so good without the coffee. It's actually, I don't feel any like more tired or drained or anything. I just crave it because I love coffee so much. Hi guys, it is now the evening of day four of not drinking coffee and I was working all day. It's just weird. I thought that I would have more of like a reaction, but I don't. So yeah, we're doing good and I'll see you guys tomorrow. What's up? Stay five. Stay five. So I just got finished packing up some orders and I am living through a rainy day today. It is so rainy and dreary and a little bit chilly, but it's kind of nice. Put on a sweater. Look at Buki. Buki. Buki, are you awake or you see pens? Buki. Hey. Hi. You look like a man. You look like a man. Oh, he's so cute. So, it has been four days fully, now day five. And we're like halfway through the day, so I make these if you want one. Hit me up. Today has been good so far. I don't feel like I'm lacking in energy. I did have a good old golden milk this morning. I actually had a little bit of a stomach ache this morning, but it had nothing to do with coffee. I just ate something that I shouldn't have eaten. And my stomach was bothering me and I drank the golden milk and it literally, my stomach pain went away. You guys should try it. If you have any inflammatory problems, which I think that literally every person on the face of the planet probably does unless they take like extremely good care of themselves, you should try it. It's really good. I feel like it's one of those like self-control and having like power over myself and my decisions type of situation right now because I could drink a coffee. There's plenty of coffee in my kitchen right now but I'm not going to because I just want to make it through two more days and then I'll have a cup of coffee and probably cut back a bit because I was drinking too much. I'm gonna go to the grocery store today and then I'm gonna clean up a bit and probably stream later. If you guys didn't know, I stream on Twitch. I play video games and kind of just hang out and chat. If you guys are interested in ever joining the stream, the link is right here. I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a good day and uh, See you guys in a bit. Hi guys, hi. Okay, so I almost forgot to film this. Today is the last day, day seven, of me not drinking coffee. And oh boy, it's been a wild ride. No, it really hasn't <laughs> actually been completely fine. I forgot to update you guys yesterday because I was so freaking busy all day long, just working, 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 working. It was a good day, I was very productive. I had a positive attitude. It was just a good day, honestly. It was just a good day. So, unfortunately, I forgot to update you guys yesterday. I'm sorry, but it's day seven today. Yay! I just finished my stream. It was great, as always. I love streaming. It has been an entire week since I have had any caffeine or any coffee. And, um,. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Yesterday I woke up so early and I don't know why. My body was just like, wake up Hannah, time to get up. And I woke up at like 5.30 in the morning and just like went about my day until like 11 p.m. Like what? I don't know. With no caffeine. How did I do that? I don't know if it has to do with caffeine. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, so yesterday was like a crazy day. I was so busy so busy just constantly doing something that i forgot to update you guys but yesterday was a really good day it was a really really good day and then today was a really good day too and i've been busy all day today too that i forgot to update you guys again yeah so i've been drinking the turmeric like latte pretty much every day it's so good the only thing i'm wondering is if it stains your teeth my teeth don't look like they're stained or anything but turmeric is stains everything everything so wouldn't be surprised so be careful if you're drinking that maybe drink it with a straw I don't know a reusable straw I haven't felt the need to have caffeine I have of course still had like 
the cravings for coffee because I love coffee. Guillermo is screaming right now for no reason he does this. It's actually like super strange to me because I really thought that I was going to feel like this significant change in my body. At least a little bit. Like to the point that I would notice it. And I'm high energy. I've been positive. I've been doing well. The only thing is that I just miss coffee because I like the taste of coffee. A bit of research on coffee and its effects and whether or not it's good for you. And I'm going to talk to you guys about that in the next clip. So stick around to see what I've learned. And maybe it'll help you guys out too. And um, yeah, I hope that you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. And I'll see you in like a split second. So welcome back. Now is the end. I can drink caffeine again. But things have changed. Things have taken a drastic change. So, but things actually have changed a little bit. And I didn't expect this to happen. As you can see in the vlog footage, I seem to not feel any different every single day. Like every day I just was like, I have energy. I don't feel like I need coffee. It's weird. Like I didn't feel any difference of when I was consuming caffeine and when I wasn't consuming caffeine. So I felt like the caffeine wasn't actually doing anything for me. But I didn't feel any kind of withdrawal symptoms. I didn't feel sick. I didn't feel like I needed caffeine. I didn't, I didn't feel that way at all. The biggest difference that I noticed was the first time that I had coffee after not having it for a week. The first thing that happened, I felt like garbage. I felt really sick. And I think that was mostly just like the digestive system. Coffee is considered to be a diuretic, so it gets your your bowels going, gets your GI tract going. Sorry if you guys don't want to hear that, but that's just reality. It made me feel really sick. It did not make me feel good. And I got immediately got like jittery, like uncomfortable. My brain was like foggy. I felt horrible. I feel like I did this to myself. I'm sad because I love coffee so much, but it made me feel so bad. So. The next day, I gave it another chance, and I had a very, very small, like maybe like this much coffee, like a very, very small amount of coffee. And again, stomach cramps, pain, discomfort, like my, I, my body felt like achy and like just not good. It was really bad. I feel like I destroyed my relationship with coffee. That was the biggest difference that I noticed is that whenever I went back to drinking coffee, my body was like, whoa, caffeine, like this is intense. But whenever I was drinking coffee before, it wasn't doing anything. That was the biggest thing that I noticed. And it was intense. Like I don't even want to drink coffee now because of the way that it's been making me feel. So we'll see how that goes. I think that coffee is going to become something in my life where I drink it on occasion if I'm feeling extra tired or I need an extra boost, or maybe I want to go on a 10 mile run. In my research, I have found that coffee is actually really good for you. And it has a lot of benefits that in my personal opinion, outweigh the things that are bad about it. So let's talk real quick about the pros and cons of coffee, whether it's good for you, if you should drink it. This is all up for your own interpretation. I did a little bit of research online. You can do the exact same research and figure it out for yourself and make this decision for yourself. I think coffee is amazing. I think the coffee plant is amazing. I love plants. I think they're incredible. I think that it has so many beneficial properties, but I also think that some people don't like it and some people don't like the way that it makes them feel and therefore your body is probably telling you not to consume it. Here's just some quick information about coffee. I am going to just spit these out real quick because this information was mind-blowing to me okay i didn't realize this i honestly thought that maybe co coffee was bad for me because it's just something that i love so much and whenever you really like something it typically isn't good for you have you guys learned that in life why does it gotta be like that coffee has caffeine in it it will make you feel more energized it will give you energy that you wouldn't have prior everybody knows that it's caffeine it can help with your intelligence. It can help your brain to function faster and better. Coffee literally makes you smarter. Okay, don't come at me. I'm just saying incredible. If you're trying to lose weight, 
Coffee helps you burn fat by increasing your metabolic rate. That's why there's caffeine in so many like workout supplements, dietary supplements. Coffee contains a lot of vitamins and minerals that are really, really important for your body, including a lot of B vitamins, potassium. It contains magnesium, which is really important for women, by the way. Get your magnesium, especially if you're having your time of the month really good for you. It also contains other vitamins and minerals that are amazing for you that you need. It's just got a lot of good stuff in it. These are the ones that I think are crazy. I don't know that these are proven. I don't know if they're theoretical. They're like linked to each other, but who knows if anything is 100%. Again, I'm not a professional. Just take this with a grain of salt, but I have read multiple studies on how this has proven to actually help with these things. Coffee drinkers apparently have a significantly reduced risk of type 2 diabetes. It can also help with Alzheimer's disease, dementia, and Parkinson's disease. What? Coffee is just coming through for us. Coffee is actually good at helping to protect your liver, which for me, I thought that that was like gonna be the opposite because like, you know, your liver is a really really important organ in your body just as all of your organs are important but your liver is super important okay and that thing goes through a lot and it's actually good for helping to protect your liver from certain diseases that can affect your liver mentally coffee has also been linked to helping people to be happier and also to help aid in fighting depression that's why I drink so much coffee there's so many other things that coffee can do that it's linked to helping with, such as preventing certain types of cancer, it prevents heart disease, it may lower your risk of a stroke. Like coffee is a crazy, crazy plant. Like that's a crazy little bean. I need to do more research on coffee. It's also an insane source of antioxidants. One of the biggest things that I remember, I read a comment actually. You ever just like read something online that somebody says and your brain's just like, oh, that's right now. That, I think so many people do that and I, I'm not saying that I don't do that because this is the situation where I did do something like that. And you're just like, oh, well, that's right. They said one thing, I don't know who this person is, they had zero credentials that I'm aware of, but nope, that's right now. So I read a comment on somebody's video. They were drinking a lot of caffeine throughout their day and somebody left a comment and they were like, girl, stop drinking caffeine, you need to cut out the caffeine, it's going to age you. And so I read that and I was like, oh my gosh, caffeine's gonna age me, it's no wonder I look so old. And no, I look the age that I look because I am that age. So I did a little bit of research on that specifically and coffee actually has a lot of anti-aging, specifically your skin, effects on people. It's literally anti-aging. It doesn't age you. It is anti-aging. Like, please do your research, people. This is like internet 101. Don't believe things you see online. Actually, just don't believe anything. Not trying to be preachy about coffee because I don't, I don't know that much. I only know what I've researched. We're gonna go through the cons of why coffee might not be the best thing for you. First of all, if you don't like coffee, don't drink it. There's plenty of other ways that you can get all of these things without drinking coffee. You don't have to do anything that you don't wanna do. Something that I deal with is coffee can increase your anxiety. This is something that I definitely notice with myself. When I drink coffee, it definitely does not help with anxiety at all. Actually, can make it a lot worse. Another thing is sleeping. Obviously, you shouldn't drink caffeine before you go to bed. It could ultimately make you not be able to sleep well if you're drinking coffee before you go to sleep. I think that's just like so obvious though. Like, do I even have to say that? I don't think I need to say that. The next one is digestive problems. Coffee can help you, digestive-wise, if you gotta go and you can't go, but it can also irritate your bowels, it can also irritate you down there if you're consuming too much caffeine, or if you just don't need that. It can give you stomach pain, cramps, 
Um, I don't think that it contributes to any, like it wouldn't make you have any digestive problems, but if you already have digestive issues, it could exacerbate them. And one of the final things I'm gonna talk about is you can get addicted to caffeine if you drink too much caffeine. We all know what addiction is. Your body now needs this substance in order to perform your daily activities feeling normal. If you stop consuming the caffeine, then your body is gonna go through something called withdrawal and your body might never return back to like being normal because you've consumed so much caffeine over so much time that your body needs the caffeine in order to function in the way that it was functioning before. So now that we've talked about pros and cons, I'm sure that there are other ones. I'm sure that there are other pros. I'm sure that there are other cons. It's all kind of based on your perspective and you personally, what caffeine and coffee does to your body. I don't typically drink any caffeine other than teas and coffees. I didn't drink any caffeine last week. And then whenever I did drink caffeine, I noticed a big difference and I didn't like it. So we're gonna kind of feel it out. Maybe I'll switch to more teas if I'm feeling like I need some caffeine, a little bit of a boost, or maybe just a lot less coffee. But ultimately what I think about coffee, again, this is my personal opinion, is that coffee is actually really good. It has a ton of benefits that could help so many people, but I think like I said earlier, everything in life comes with a balance. So I think that it's important to have a little bit of coffee every day or every other day or a couple times a week or maybe even just a couple times a month just to kind of get those benefits and just don't consume too much caffeine. Don't consume too much coffee. Don't consume too much of anything because that's just not good for you, unless it's water. Actually, even drinking too much water can kill you. So don't drink too much, please don't drink too much water, but drink a lot of water, but not too much. Isn't that just how life is? You just gotta figure it out. You gotta figure out what's good for you, what feels good for you, what makes you happy, and what makes you function the best that you possibly can. I hope that I could give you guys a little bit of information on coffee. I hope that this video helped you to understand a little bit more about whether or not you want to consider cutting it out for a little bit and kind of leveling yourself out with caffeine or coffee. Again, these are all my personal opinions. This is my personal experience with one week of not having any caffeine or coffee. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a good old thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I super appreciate you guys and I will see you guys in the next one.